Hey everyone, my name is Ajit and you're all welcome to my new channel, The Novice Reader. Alright, so what I'm intending to do as part of this channel is to keep you updated about the books that I have read, share some insights about it, which you might find interesting and perhaps we can use this as a forum to stay connected and share our thoughts about the books. That being said, let's get started. So the book that I'm going to talk about today is a non-fiction released in the year 2019, written by Mr. Sukedu Mehta, titled This Land is Our Land, An Immigrant's Manifesto. This book is premised on the hypocrisy and the anti-immigration stance exhorted by most of the developed countries, in particular the Western countries. A very good couple of examples are one, the visa restrictions that the immigrants are facing in US and two, the wall that is being constructed between Mexico and US. To begin with, the author goes back to the crux of the issue. Why do people immigrate? Well, there could be a multitude of reasons. War, drugs, political uncertainties, economic imbalances, religious persecution, ethnic cleansing, you name it. Anything could be a reason. Some people immigrate just to get a better life for themselves and for their families, while some others immigrate just to keep themselves alive. I believe most of you might not have forgotten the tragic image of Alan Kurdi during the peak of the Syrian crisis and the subsequent deluge of immigrants to the European Union. Now, when these developed countries claim that it is because of these immigrants that the host nation's social infrastructure is getting messed up, their own citizens are not getting enough opportunities in terms of employment, surging crime rates, declining economy, negative impacts to, to, to growth, etc. Sukedu so slams them unceremoniously for their hypocrisy. According to him, the developed countries of today, especially the Western countries, had committed heinous crimes on the less fortunate ones in the past, which had resulted in this current immigration crisis. For example, he talks about the colonial empires in their heydays. According to his statistics, apparently 40% of all the international borders across the globe were collectively drawn by France and the United Kingdom. He vividly details about all these divisions, looting, wrongdoings committed by the superpowers on their colonies, which resulted in most of these colonies still reeling under so many problems so many challenges and some are even stagnant without any sort of development whatsoever even after so many years. He also cites the examples of the wars waged by the United States against Iraq and Afghanistan um, as well as United States interferences in the Central America which resulted in these places to be branded as places of anarchy and of high criminality. So the author, Mr. Sukey, the question is that when these unfortunate people from these colonies try to immigrate into these superpower nations to better their lives, why are these superpower nations turning their back to them? His claim is that these immigrants are in fact demanding their own lost rights which were deprived of them by these superpowers in the past. I believe most of you might be remembering the spectacular speech given by Mr. Shashi Tharoor at the Oxford Union demanding reparations from the United Kingdom for all the wrongdoings that they committed against India during their colonial rule. In the later half of the book, Mr. Soketu is also very vocal about the positives of immigration. He talks in details about how immigrants boost the economy of the host nations, how they bring changes to the social fabric in a very positive way. Um, so basically, he's backing up all his points and claims with facts and figures and statistics. This book, even though it has got its own share of emotional elements to it because of the personal experiences that Mr. Suketu has gone through, it is still a non-nonsense book because of the data it put forward. In terms of relevancy, I don't think there's a better time for this book to come out, especially because of the reason that most of us can relate to it than anybody else. Having read Sukitu's previous work, Maximum City, which was critically acclaimed, I didn't expect a much lesser work and he didn't disappoint me at all. All right, if you're interested to read this book, please do so. I, I believe it won't disappoint you. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you believe that this video can benefit anybody, please do share it to them. Please leave your comments and thoughts and please do consider subscribing to this as well.
That's it. Thank you all for watching. I will see you in my next video. Bye.